Hello you all, this is Healthy Living. I am Wendy. This is my weight loss journey. And I decided to do the seven day apple cider vinegar cleanse, J.J. Smith. This is my second time go around with J.J. Smith. I've done this seven months ago. It's a shame that I'm even saying it, that I need to do it again. Two months ago. You know, we was closed in. Honey, I ended up gaining weight. I thought I had control. And I feel bad by saying I need to do this again because I can't wait, you all. With all this being in the home and the world changing around, it has done a lot to all of us. And it definitely has put a damper on me. So I said, you know, why not try this again and see if I can get that same effect that I got the very first time that I did the seven day challenge. So here I am again and I already done went to the store. So I'm going to show you the clippings uh, of the grocery store, my way in, uh, my measurements. And we're just going to go from there. And I'm just going to ask you to follow me on this weight loss journey. And here we go. Here's the clippings to the grocery store. You know, at first it started out like eat a little bit of this and eat a little bit of that. And then all of a sudden I was just like eat. And then after I realized I was out of control and I was talking to my husband and talking to my kids and I was like, uh, I'm like really eating and I'm like eating a little bit of everything. And then I decided, you know, didn't, was kind of scary, not kind of didn't want to get on the scale, and the scale was like, hey, come here. I was like, nah, leave me alone. I don't want to get on you. You know, I'm like, I don't want to get on the scale because I didn't want to know the truth. And eventually, I ended up getting on the scale, y'all, and that scale said 189 pounds, and I just, like, threw my hands up, and I just knew that I was not going to do that 190 I've been there. I've done that. I went past 190 before, and I'm not going to do it. And so me just seeing the number itself was like, okay, I got to do something about it. And so ever since then, I've been losing weight, and I done lost at least four pounds. So, And that's just watching what I've been eating and doing low-impact exercises, nothing, nothing real hard, hard, hard. Uh, if y'all go back and look at my videos, y'all, you will see, you know, no, she was just jump roping and hula hooping and just doing small things, you know, nothing extreme. So, but now it has brought me to do J.J. Smith apple cider vinegar cleanse because I have done it before. So second time around. And I had good results the first time. If you wanted to see them videos, y'all can go back and look at them videos 
but I am here to do it again. I am asking you all for that support. If anyone is doing this weight loss uh, journey, I'm asking you please let me know. Drop a couple of lines down there. Let me know when you're getting ready to start. Have you already started? What was your results? How you feel about it? Would you do it again? Are you currently on it now? Just give me, give us some feedback how you feel about it. Uh, just so others will know as well. So currently I will be starting tomorrow. Tomorrow will be the first day. I will be doing a video letting you know uh, what I'm eating. I, I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to start out with the oatmeal or the eggs. I'm not exactly sure how many times I'm going to be doing the video. Uh, uploading. I'm not exactly sure. But I will let y'all know by tomorrow what I'm going to be doing. So, um, let's get the measurements on. I have not done the measurements yet. Uh, I always feel like it's easier when someone else is doing your measurements. I'm not going to get it right to the T, but I'm going to get it as close as possible. And I got all this tape on it. I got to get that tape. Okay. Here we go, y'all. Okay, let go of my stomach. Hope y'all can. Okay, this is the, where my navel is. Oh my goodness, y'all. I don't even want to tell you the number. Okay, right here where my navel is, it's like 42 and a half. Forty-two and a half. And okay, let me try my arm. My husband was here; he would do it. I'm kind of embarrassed. I shouldn't be because it's my husband. But he measured me last time. He's like, "Dang, we got fat again." <laughs> Not fat, but like thick. Believe it or not, you all, being 180-something, I'm, I'm considered obese, and I'm 5'6". It might not seem like it, but I am. Uh, if I'm 170-something, then I'm no longer considered obese. My arms are 13. Then I'm going to do my hips. I'm just going to keep my jeans on. Well, I'm going to keep them on anyway. I ain't got no choice. <laughs> I don't think it would make too much of a difference if I had shorts on. My hip. It's like 44 and a half. I hope I did that right. My stomach. My stomach is bigger. Why did my hip? I mean, I don't know. Like, oh my goodness. Okay, I did this around here. I'm going to go around this part that's kind of like hanging. You know? Probably don't really want to know, but. Oh. That's like. 41 and a half, and this part up here that's sticking all out with what, 43 and a half or something? Yeah, it was 43. I have to go back and look. Okay, stick, let your stomach loose. Okay, yeah, it was 43. When my stomach is loose, because I'm not, I'm not holding it in, it's, it's sticking out, and... So I'm going to give y'all the true measurements. But no, not hold no stomach in. And I have to remember not to hold it in. Because you know we'll do that. That part sticking out is not 41, y'all. When, it, when, when, when it's sticking out, it is... It's like 43 and a half. This part just hanging and stuff. Okay. Alright, I'm 
back. Somebody got something to do. We got some work. In the next video.